you've installed Linux Mint, and everything looks great. Then the question that scares everyone appears, so how do I install programs on Linux Mint without breaking something? If you're coming from Windows and you're looking for a download button or a .exe file, relax, you're not doing anything wrong. Linux Mint works differently, but not in a more complicated way. On the contrary, it's safer, cleaner, and more organized. In this video, I'll show you all the correct ways to install applications on Linux Mint. Linux Mint is one of the most popular Linux distributions for beginners, especially for people coming from Windows. It looks familiar, it's stable, and it comes with many things already set up. Still, one of the biggest points of confusion appears right at the beginning, installing software. On Windows, things are simple. You download a .exe or .msi file, double click it, and follow the steps. On Linux, the philosophy is different. Applications come from centralized, verified sources, and you have more control over your system. One important thing to know from the start, you don't need to use all these methods. In 90% of cases, Software Manager or APT are more than enough. The rest exist for special situations, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly when and why to use them. The simplest and safest way to install programs on Linux Mint is the Software Manager. It's the equivalent of an App Store, similar to Microsoft Store or Google Play. You'll find it directly in the menu, and you don't need the terminal at all. When you open Software Manager, you'll see Categories, Popular Applications, and a search bar. All you have to do is search for the app you want, for example, VLC, GIMP, or LibreOffice, click on it, and press install. The system will ask for your password and handle everything automatically. The biggest advantage of Software Manager is security. Applications come from the official Linux Mint and Ubuntu repositories. They're verified and optimized for your system. Updates are handled automatically without needing to reinstall anything manually. For a new user, this should be your first choice. If the application exists in Software Manager, there's no reason to look for another method. It's stable, easy, and you can't break anything. One important detail, sometimes Software Manager shows the same application in multiple versions, a classic one and a flat pack version. For beginners, the version recommended by Mint is the safest choice. For many new users, the terminal can seem intimidating. In reality, it's one of the fastest and most powerful ways to install software. Linux Mint uses Advanced Package Tool, a package manager that knows exactly where to get applications and which dependencies are needed. The general command to install an application is sudo apt install app name. For example, if you want to install VLC, you type sudo apt install VLC. The system will ask for your password and automatically download and install the application along with all required dependencies. The biggest advantages of APT are speed and control. You can install applications quickly, update everything with a single command, and completely remove any application. Most Linux tutorials and guides use the terminal, so getting used to it early makes you much more efficient. If it feels strange or scary at first, that's completely normal. After a few days, you'll notice it's faster than any graphical interface. APT commands are safe and standard, and using them helps you better understand how your Linux system works. APT is not an old or advanced only tool. It's the primary method used on Linux servers worldwide, including critical infrastructure. Flatpak is a modern way to install applications on Linux, regardless of distribution. Linux Mint comes with Flatpak support enabled by default. Flatpak uses isolated packages that include all required dependencies. You can install Flatpak applications directly from Software Manager. Open Software Manager. Go to the Flatpak category and you'll see a list of available applications. Search for what you want and click Install, just like any other graphical app. This is the easiest method for beginners. The largest Flatpak repository is called Flathub. You can visit flathub.org, search for an application like OBS Studio or Spotify, and you'll see the exact command you can copy into the terminal. Once you run it, the app is installed and ready to use. Flatpak applications are usually newer than those in classic repositories. The downside is that they take up more disk space and may start slightly slower. The advantage is compatibility and security. This flexibility makes Flatpak an excellent choice, whether you install via Software Manager's Flatpak section or directly from Flathub for modern or less common applications. One important thing to remember, 
Flatpak does not replace APT. They coexist. Flatpak is ideal for modern graphical applications that you want to keep up to date, independent of your system version. AppImage is the closest Linux equivalent to a portable program on Windows. You download a single file, make it executable, and run it. It doesn't install itself system-wide and doesn't modify important Linux Mint files. A great example of an AppImage application is Caden Live, a popular Linux video editor. If you visit the official website, you'll see the AppImage download option. After downloading, you'll find the file in your downloads folder. To run it, right-click the Caden Live AppImage file, go to Properties, open the Permissions tab, and check Allow Executing File as Program. After that, double-click the file, and Caden Live starts immediately without a traditional installation. The advantage of AppImage is simplicity, no dependencies, no installation, and you can delete it anytime. It's perfect for testing or applications you don't use daily. The downside is that it doesn't update automatically and doesn't always appear in the menu. Even though AppImage is very convenient, I recommend using it mainly for testing or occasional apps, not as your primary installation method. Point .dev files are the classic installation packages for Debian-based distributions like Linux Mint. Many popular or commercial applications offer installation this way. A well-known example is the Opera browser. If you visit opera.com, you can download the Linux version as a point .dev file. Once the download finishes, double-click the file. Linux Mint will automatically open a graphical installer. Click Install, enter your password, and Opera will be installed just like any other application. After installation, it appears in the menu and receives updates through the system. This method is useful when an application isn't available in Software Manager or Flatpak. It's very important to download point .deb files only from official websites to avoid security risks. Avoid links from forums or unknown websites. Linux Mint is not harder than Windows. It's just different. Once you understand the logic behind sources and package managers, you'll install software faster and more safely than on any other system. As you've seen, Linux Mint offers more installation methods than Windows. Not to complicate things, but to give you freedom and control. If you're a beginner, stick with Software Manager. As you gain experience, you'll start appreciating the terminal, Flatpak, and the other options. If this video helped you, hit like and subscribe for more Linux Mint tutorials explained simply. Tell me in the comments which program you want to install, and we'll do it together in a future video.